Color Wonderland. One of my personal favorite tracks back in the day recently got a new update added to CGGP. Although this update did simplify the track, there are still many difficult strats, turns, and shortcuts that make it very difficult for any player lacking practice. That is why today I am going to teach you how to play Color Wonderland from the lines, shortcuts, and online strategy. Let's get started. Start by doing a wheelie down the slope and chaining your wheelie at the first boost panel. Trick off the ramp and nose dive. Then trick off the red block and tail dive. Drive up the slope at a small left to right angle. Then before you reach the top, perform a soft drift, get a mini turbo and release your mini turbo with a right follow through. After releasing the first mini turbo, perform an instant hard drift to the left to take the following turn tight. If getting the first mini turbo is troublesome, you can also simply wheelie at the top of the slope. After this left turn, there is a trick ramp followed by a green block. For this section, you want to trick off the initial ramp and nose dive, then wheelie off the green block. However, sometimes you get a bad landing from the initial ramp, which in return does not let you get a wheelie. To get a good landing from this ramp consistently, aim for the red arrow on the green block. Delay your trick and hold all the way up on your joystick. If you do get a bounce and your wheelie does not come out, then it is faster to trick off the green block. After this green block comes a section with multiple routes. The main path consists of tricking off this yellow block, then drifting as you land to align with the turn ahead. Then, after hitting the boost panel, performing a soft drift to the left, doing a trick off the ramp and nose diving onto the blue block below. Another strat for this section is to trick off the yellow block and align for the very right side of the green block ahead. Then, as you land on the green block, doing a spin drift off of it to land on the trick ramp to the right. However, this strat, even when done optimally, does not save any time, or as shown in this comparison, can even lose time overtaking the regular route. The other strat for this section is to align to the very left of the boost ramp that is on the green block, and doing a wheelie off that part of the block to land on the boost below. Unfortunately, this strat is also just slightly slower than the regular route. However, all three strats can be used to avoid items or other racers. After landing on the blue block, trick off of it and nose dive. Then trick off the green block and tail dive. And finally, trick off the yellow block and land in the tail dive. Before you land on the road below, start a left drift and trick off the edge of the road onto the blue block. Continue to drift left on the blue block and do a drift trick to the left off of it to land on the darker edge of the white road. Then release your charged mini turbo. After releasing the first mini turbo, charge another mini turbo and release it with a right follow through to align for the trick ramp on the right. This trick ramp can be low tricked. However, it is quite inconsistent. The best way to low trick this ramp is to soft drift towards it and do a delayed left side trick, as in pressing the left button on the D-pad or swinging your Wiimote to the left. For some reason, this works the best, although for my testing, it is not 100% consistent. If you do not want to go for the low trick, you can charge three mini turbos and continue to stay tight on the darker edge of the road. As you can see from this comparison, when taking the regular route, getting the low trick barely saves any time over avoiding the ramp completely. So avoiding the low trick ramp can be beneficial. Next, trick off the edge of the road and start a left drift before landing on the blue block. Then, do a drift trick to the left off the blue block and continue to drift left as you land. This next section has many different options and strats. The method I like to use is done by aligning at a left to right angle, doing a trick off the first ramp, then hopping over the second ramp as it is a slow ramp, and finally doing a drift trick to the left off the part of the green block that is to the right of the boost ramp. This method is safe, consistent, and allows you to take the following left turn very tight. This second ramp can be low tricked as well. However, this low trick is hard to time and missing it is slower, so it is best to hop over the ramp for consistency. 
Like I said, there are other methods of doing this section, which include drifting off the boost ramp, tricking off the boost ramp which sends you really wide, doing a spin drift off the left side of the green block, and the fastest method, which consists of doing a wide drift trick to the left off the left side of the green block, or even doing a spin hop trick to cut off the small gap. However, these two methods are quite risky and do not save that much time. So if you want to save time, you are better off taking the shroomless shortcut instead. After the green block, wheelie off the following ramp, then trick off the final yellow block. After landing from the yellow block, it is important to delay your wheelie, as delaying your wheelie will allow you to stick to the road. If you wheelie instantly, there is a good chance that you will get a lot of bounces when driving up the slope, and even miss the last ramp, which loses a lot of time. Finally, trick off the last ramp and nosedive to complete the lap. Keep in mind that on lap 3, it is faster to wheelie off the final ramp instead of doing a trick. Color Wonderland has a few shortcuts that vary in size and difficulty. The first shortcut is the smallest one on the course and is only getting a mention because it is the current shroom spot in time trials. This shortcut is done by aligning to the left of the bootstrap ahead and using your mushroom just before the edge of the white row to skip the small turn and land on the boost panel below. The next shortcut can be done with a shroom or shroomless by using these green and red blocks. To do this shortcut with the shroom, trick off the green block but do not trick off the yellow block. Then before you hit the red block, start a drift to the left. As you land on the red block, use your mushroom, do a drift trick to the left off the red block, and tail dive in midair to land smoothly on the green block. Once you land on the green block, continue to drift left and trick to land on the red block ahead. When on the red block, it is important to drift along the right side of it. Then finish by doing a drift trick to the left off the final red block and holding back in midair to cross the gap. Like I said, it is really important to drift along the right side of the red block, as not only will this allow you to be more parallel with the white road to take the following left turn tight, but if you try to trick off the left side of the red block, you will either cut off too much and fall off, or you will not be able to make the following left turn and you will fall off to the other side of the road. To do this shortcut shroomless, trick off the blue block, wheelie or simply drive off the green block, then do a delayed trick off the yellow block and aim for the top left corner of the red block. Before landing on the red block, do a left drift, then after landing on the red block, do an instant trick and hold all the way back in midair to make it onto the green block. From there, do the same as you would with the shroom method of the shortcut to make it back onto the white road. Here is the shortcut performed in real time. The final and most important shortcut on this course is at the end of the lap which skips the ending section on the right. This shortcut in my opinion is more difficult than it was in the older version of this course. However, it now has multiple methods of performing it. For the fastest method, align towards the left side of the road and do a spin hop trick to the left. Land in a tail dive then drift hard left towards the left edge of the blue block. As you reach the edge of the blue block, trick and yank your joystick to the right to get more air time to cross the gap and land on the red block. The alignment to land on the track below is quite precise. You want to aim for the highlighted area as shown, just around the top left corner of the larger ramp, on a slight right to left angle. This alignment is not only precise, but you also cannot see where the road below is until you are in midair. So practicing this shortcut to get the alignment down is highly recommended. The next method of doing this shortcut is done by aligning wider than doing a drift trick to the left off the white ramp. Then doing the same thing as the fastest method, drift hard left, trick and yank right, then doing a wheelie off the top left corner of the ramp. As you can see from this example, I actually went more to the left off the ramp than usual, but since I angled myself slightly more to the right, I still made it across. The next method of doing the shortcut is done by aligning wide right, doing a drift trick to the left off the white ramp, then doing another drift trick to the left off the flip ramp to land on the red block. This method does not force you to use TF inputs, but does make it harder for you to align properly for the final wheelie. The final method of this shortcut is the same as the previous one. However, this time you do not trick off the white road. This is the easiest but slowest method of performing this shortcut. This shortcut when done properly saves just over one second from the regular route, which is not all that much, so going around does not come at that big of a cost. Some more things to note about this shortcut. It is near impossible to make this shortcut with a trick. The green block on the right is larger than it may appear, so really make sure to go far enough left to avoid it. Also, the respawn for the shortcut kinda sucks. 
So failing this loses a lot of time, making it high risk and high reward. The two biggest tips that anyone can give you to succeed on this track online are to stay in the front as much as possible and to only go for the strats that you are comfortable with. A good example of this comes from this CTL race. Sawyer and I are in top 2 and he proceeds to make the cut but I fail it. As you can see he gets a very big lead from it and I fall straight into last place. At the end of the race Sawyer finishes first with a big lead and I finish last. So you can see how important it is to be consistent with these shortcuts and how one mistake can cost you your race. And that is all for this tutorial. There was a lot to cover for this track, so I hope you learned something without feeling too overwhelmed. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below which track you want me to do next. With that said, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.